All right, thank you. Councillor Fitzpatrick, the floor is yours. Thank you, Your Honor. The officer's first instinct was to treat a downed individual, a victim, as a perpetrator. GSR testing occurred before medical care was provided. Searching of the victim again occurred prior to medical care. Officers did not perform their due diligence on searching the area when it came time to figure out who had hurt Mr. Paul. Instead, jumping to conclusions, they violated his rights. We hope this court holds that a single call indicating brandishing or an injured individual does not lead to victims being unilaterally treated as criminals by the police department and finds everything from the search and what may have come as fruit of the poisonous tree. If this court does not find this compelling and ignores the fruit of the poisonous tree as such, then the dereliction of duty of the officers cannot be ignored. Possession of recycled goods is not inherently criminal and criminalizing recycling would set the city on a path of pollution and condemn public health to an irreparable state. We ask that the court see how my client bad, is bad, bad, bad. He has clearly been dumpster diving. A GSR test on gloves from someone who's been dumpster diving by an officer with limited training cannot be held as definitive proof beyond a reasonable doubt that any person fired whatever gun an officer may claim that had no personal knowledge of events. With that, we ask your honor to evaluate the evidence in light of the rights that people deserve. Thank you. God, she On hood. All right. Thank you very Can much. Can I say anything about that, Your Honor? Or nothing, right? No, that's not uh, how closing no. arguments work. No Shut your ass up. Nope. Yeah, swung the devil on that most uh, like a... All right. I am going to uh, take, a, take a few minutes <laughs> to deliberate on this decision. Um, everybody behave yourselves. Take a few minutes. Have a snack. Should have a decision short. Oh, shit. Oh, no. Fuck yeah. All right. Um, so there are some uh, interesting legal concepts in play here with this case. Uh, uh, I will try to explain uh, as best uh, I can. Oh yeah, we lost more than that decision. But if anybody has any supplementary questions, after, I actually lost. Feel uh, free to talk to because me. If you usually, probably because of bullshit and some mechanics, if I would guess. Um, another judge might view the situation differently. I don't know. I um, I I think but, probably uh, lost essentially because of. Uh, I don't begin repair. with the five counts of uh, possession of a stolen ID. Now, um, the charge states, uh, you know, roughly possessing the identification of another person without their consent. Now, there's three things uh, wrong with this, in my opinion, in this case. Uh, as as Mr. Paul in the defense stated uh, in their case. The IDs were all 2003, 2023 IDs. So in my legal estimation, uh, since they are not valid IDs and they no longer belong to a person because they've been thrown in the garbage, uh, they're fair game for anyone to pick up and uh, do anything aside from have a valid ID of another person, oh, no. whatever they want to do with them. They want to collect them. That's that. That's their business. They're expired. They're not valid. They're not useful. And any cursory glance at the ID will render uh, suspicion as to you know what it's being used for or who's using it. So they, as they're invalid, I, I'm not going to uphold those five charges. He had some garbage, and uh, they happen to be some discarded IDs. So those yeah. those charges will be found not guilty and dismissed. Now, as to the weapons charges. Um, the defense uh, made an affirmative argument that Mr. Paul did not have a weapon before he was incapacitated and does not remember how he got one. Um, my issue with this defense is being an affirmative defense, it must be uh, proven beyond a reasonable doubt because the burden of proof shifts to the defense in the event that, uh, you know, a, uh, it was planted on me style See, defense comes into play. Which would have been on them if we could use the fucking right, gunshots and casings and projectiles, but we couldn't because of bullshit. So. Bullshit. Uh, circumstances it's just unlucky. Is what it is. To prove that, uh, it's for just, me to it's find shit. that more likely than he had a gun and was GSR positive because he fired it. So, See, um, that's, you know, I Just could fucking scream that, right now. As far as probable cause and exigent I thought wasn't an affirmative though, defense to say no, um, literally, that's not, I'm about to go slap the shit out of him. Very briefly and succinctly and, and accurately how this crime scene investigation unfolds in a shots fired call. Uh, GSR is taken from anyone found on scene. 
that is that is true. Um, but beyond that, at a crime scene where there's Wait, a victim, it was an um, the objective of law enforcement is to collect any evidence that is valuable to find out what happened to this person. So, you know, even without uh, the GSR in consideration, you know, there might be a circumstance where he could have just he could have just been uh, at least frisked on scene. I don't know. God, why wouldn't uh, house it depends follow on him? the circumstances. But point being that uh, I do I do find that the scene of a shooting just fucking hate presents my enough probable cause to conduct. Sorry, you want me to let him talk, or regardless of if the person who is present. You want me to let him talk, or can I go now? Yeah, let him talk for a little bit. Sure, he's going with this. So, with those things uh, in mind, uh, I am going to be finding Mr. Paul guilty on what both the of those, the remaining charges. Oh man! However, God damn it! <laughs> however, however, uh, Mr. Hell Paul no. was, was subject to uh, a great deal of, um, you know, wait, waiting for this due to the other party. Uh, and, uh, you know, it did take us some time to get this thing rolling. So I would like for him to receive some uh, time time served. I didn't do nothing, bro. What the fuck? Yeah, no problem. Well, in this case, I did the race, bro. Fuck no. Hell no, bro. All right, uh, stop running or you're gonna get tackled. I'm not in the farm of defense. I got a bonus. Get tackled. Uh, going for cuffs. Ah! 195. You got him. Ah! Alrighty. Wonderful. Thank you, Sky. Yeah, but I'll let you handle him. I'm gonna bring him back in the courtroom and deal with him there. What else, Star? We're here in the nose. Guys, 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 I love the story mechanics. It, it is the most dog shit thing of all time, but I can't complain. I don't know. I don't know. I mean, it's bullshit. What can you do? I, I don't know what to tell you. It's... I'm not okay. going to say anything. Appeal it. Sorry, gargle. Gargle. Well, I mean, it doesn't matter because the thing the thing that is at play here cannot be discussed. So it does, if I feel it or not, it doesn't matter. Cause they try. It, okay. Um. They use something that they can't. They can't be used. It's like the. Uh. So okay, Your Honor, I brought him back in here in case you wanted any contempt charges. If not, I'm just gonna get him processed. I can move him elsewhere. Uh, um, I don't see a reason personally. Yeah. I'm, I mean, he, he came. You got him right back. Ah, uh, nah, bro. You hit me with contempt. I, I, I like that. I, 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 hit me with it. You like it? I want that on record. Yeah, bro. Okay. Damn. He likes it. All right. You want the contempt? Yeah, it makes it look tougher. Please, yeah. Right? I'll give some fucking street cred, bro, straight up. Alright, well, uh, do something contemptuous. Alright, alright, come on, man. Let me walk around a little bit. Let him go crazy. Alright, uh, I'm gonna process him in the hallway here just so they can Damn continue it. their he conversation. Didn't let him do anything contemptuous. Come on, bro. I mean, you could have just, like, cussed them the fuck out. You could have just yelled at them. They probably would have given you content. I ain't gonna let you run and then have to chase you again. Chase you enough. You taking it back to Mr. Rowe? Uh, I was just gonna process him here. Do we have cells here? No. I mean, I guess I can bring him back from MRP team process. Alright, should probably go back. Right. Uh, I was gonna say we should get him somewhere. Guys, if you don't know what happened, okay, let me explain to you. I think people okay. can bring stuff up to this point, can't they? The yeah. lack. Yeah. The lack of bullets and casings prove pretty much that it wasn't fired and shit, right? All the things that are good for me. Don't appear in the game right now. So it kind of it's kind of the assumption that it should be there, but it's not because the game is, doesn't have it. So at, at that point, it's kind of like. Mr. Because Paul, it, would you like a transport to the prison? Hell no, bro. Okay. 